Hello and welcome to today's video, instructional video, on the use of the Beulah Simplimet 2000. A quick explanation of the control panel. Here we have the diameter of the mould. This is already preset because it tenses the mould size. Here we have the settings of the parameters you can adjust. We have, first of all, the time for heating, pressing that cycle button, the time for cooling, press a third time the pressure, fourth time temperature can be simply adjusted by pressing the up or down arrows on all four parameters. This is a control for the manual control for the up down operation of the RAM. To select manual cooling you press that one, on off that one, stop cycle that one, start cycle that one. Quick explanation of what's behind the machine and connections to be made. Here we have the airline connection between 80 and 90 psi or 5.5 and, and 6 bar. The water inlet, the water drain and the electrical connection. Here we have the exhaust filter so that any oil contamination isn't released into the air when the system exhausts. So once you understand the switches you can see that here we have a heating time of 6 minutes set, a cooling time of 3 minutes set, a pressure of 290 bar and a cooking temperature of 180 degrees. It's a 30 millimeter mould as you can see here and now we're ready to start this process. powder in the mould. Close the top enclosure and then just simply press the cycle start. As you can see the time is counting down. Clicking that you can hear is just from the uh, maximizer pump, which is an air operated pump to pump the hydraulic fluid. We have five and a half minutes to count down on the cooking time, so I'm going to pause it for a moment. As you can see, we're now down to 35 seconds left of the cooking cycle. When it reaches zero, what we should see is this indicating light showing that the cooling part of the cycle is operating. This resetting to the three minutes cooling time and then counting down. You will get uh, an issue of steam from the waste pipe. This is just because the hot cold water is going into the hot cooling jacket to cool and turn into steam. It's entirely normal. We'll wait for the last few seconds now. As you can see, it's changed down to the cooling cycle. We have two minutes left, that's counting down. I will wait now until the cycle is complete. I'll pause the video again until we're getting to the last few seconds. As you can see, we're now getting down to the last few seconds of the cooling cycle. When this cycle is completed, you'll see that the green light goes off. You'll hear a tone from the machine telling you that the cycle is complete. And the indications will reset to zero. There's the tone. The green light turns to red and it releases a pressure. Now simply unlock the enclosure, press the up control to raise the piston. And there you have the completed sample. Just lower the piston, having ensured that there's no moulding flash left around the piston heads. Lower the piston itself. And you're ready for the next cycle. 
Thank you for watching.